Hello, good day viewers. Welcome back once again to integration class. So in today's class, we are going to learn about integration with business application. So in our previous lessons under differentiation with business application, and in our study on theory of production, we learned about what we call total cost, right? Total revenue and marginal cost or marginal revenue. And we established that for total cost, total cost should be equal to our first cost plus what? Our variable cost. And we said that first cost are those costs that remain or constants irrespective of what? The level of what? Output. Irrespective of the level of output. Meaning that whatever production that we produce, yes, so first cost remains something that you cannot what, avoid. So that primarily means that if we have our production level to be, say, zero, yes, so first cost is going to be incurred. Okay, so that's what we said about first cost under that class. And then also we said with a variable cost too, it's a cost that responds to the level of output or sales, irrespective of whether it increase or decrease, it still responds to the level of output also. So as and when output increases, variable cost what increases. As and when out variable output decreases, sorry, variable cost also what decreases. So variable cost changes with respect to the level of what output. That's what we discussed under the differentiation and in our theory of what production under total cost. So total cost is equal to first cost plus variable cost. We also establish fundamentally that at the production level of zero, at the production level, at the production level, at the production level of zero, the three things happen here. One, our variable cost is equal to zero. Two, our total cost is equal to our face cost. And three, our total revenue should be equal to what? zero. And I explained these three items that we are trying to talk about, these three concepts we are trying to talk about. So we are saying that at a production level of zero, our variable cost is zero, our total cost called first cost, and our total revenue is called toward that. So let's take from the first one, variable cost called to zero. We have already established fundamentally that in our study on the production theory or theory of production, we know that our Total cost go to our first cost plus what our variable cost. Okay, good. So if that is the case, now at the production level of zero, we are saying that our variable cost go to what zero, but our total cost go to our first cost. How is that possible? We realize that we said that first cost, there are those costs which does not change with the level of what output or so. Meaning that irrespective of the level of production, yes, to our first cost remains what constant. For example, let's take the cost of electricity in our business or in our environment or in our organization. We realize that when it comes to electricity, let's say we have within our production sector, within our business, we have three departments. Let's say we have what? Department A. We have Department B and we have Department what? C. Department C. Now, what is happening here? We realize that all these departments are connected when it comes to power they are connected on one source that is what the electricity so now when it comes to electricity cost everybody or every department is responsible for their cost but within this department we have our production level to go coming from b right so b is our production what department production department or what we produce those output and result to our customers. So now, let's look at this. We realize that we are all connected to the same power when it comes to electricity, and that is for department A, B, and then that of for C. And we know that our production department is for department what? B. Now, let's assume primarily that for a particular period, there was no material to produce. There was no material to produce. So that would primarily mean that at that period or at that point, our production level, our production level PL is equal to what? Zero. Okay, if PL is equal to zero, 
What about the cost of, let's say, using light to clean the machines that we have in our production setting, right? Because when the cleaners come to want to clean the production department, they are not going to be in darkness. There should be a light that they can see and then clean the place so that the place becomes so tidy so that we can use it for another business or activity for a particular what, period. So the cost of using that light for those cleaners is important. So that primarily means that if our production level is equal to zero, that does not cause our first cause of electricity to, what, to be avoided. It yes, is going to incur. And realize that within this same power, its department is also connected, C is also what, connected. So whether production level is zero or production level is a different what, level, just so electricity is going to be what, paid. It cannot be what, avoid. This is what we call what, a first what, cost. So there are costs that does not change with respect to the level of production or sale. With respect to the level of production or sale. Whether we produce or we don't produce, the cost of face cost remains what? The same. So you realize that the person A and B and C is still going to what, pay what for the cost of electricity. So the cost of electricity is what? Fixed. And we said at the production level of what, zero, our variable cost is equal to it. That is true because if we don't produce, we don't incur items like what? Material cost, items like labor cost, and items like what? Other expenses, other expenses, other expenses, other expenses. We don't incur this cost. So at this point, this cost amounts towards zero. And when you sum up this, that's where we have what we call our variable cost. So where we don't produce, our variable cost is equal to zero, but our first cost remains what the same. That's why we said that at that point, if that is so, we have our free cost be present, but our variable cost goes towards zero. And therefore, our total cost goes to our first cost. So this is where the second point comes in. Where the production level is called zero, our variable cost goes towards zero. Our total cost amount towards our first cost. Okay. And the third one here is that you see, where we don't produce, there is no issue about what revenue to be what generated. Is that okay? Where we don't produce, we can't generate revenue. So that means that if we don't have any units that we want to sell, then there's no way we can generate what revenue. So we also know that to, that's why we lead out to what we call our revenue function. So we know that our revenue function too is equal to the quantity that we produce multiplied by the selling price per what quantity or selling price per what unit. Now, we have what the quantity that we produce to be at the level of what, zero. Zero multiplying selling price per quantity. What is happening here? Everything is what? Zero. So at the production level of what? Zero. Three things happening here. Our variable cost goes to zero. Our total cost goes to our fixed cost. And our total revenue is equal to what? Zero. Right? So that is the concept we are trying to build up here when it comes to this theory of production. And these are the things that we establish fundamentally when we're discussing the issue about what? differentiation with business what, applications or business problems. That's where we discuss. And we also spoke about the issue about what, marginal cost stroke marginal revenue. So if you can remember, in our differentiation class, we learned that if I have the total cost to be equal to say, total cost of, let's say, the unit to say X, and I want to differentiate this total cost function, it becomes what, so that becomes with my hyphen, Total cost hyphen x becomes or differentiate what cost differentiate what the unit, which is in this case as what x. So this is why we establish fundamental when it comes to differentiation. All right. So we said that to differentiate the total cost function, it should be differentiate cost differentiate what the unit. That's what we said fundamentally, and we said that this differential is what we call the marginal cost the marginal cost. So that's where we have the issue about. So marginal cost means that here we are talking about where the total cost changes, right? So marginal cost is a change in what? Cost. is a change in cost. And we also establish that if I also have my total revenue function, I want to differentiate, that's going to give me what? Differential of what? Revenue divided by differential of what the unit under consideration is what? In this case, unit of production, X. And this also established what we call marginal what revenue. So this is what we actually spoke about in the issue about our differentiation class with business application under theory of what 
production. Okay, so if that is the case, we also fundamentally talk about the issue about where the business will want to maximize profit, where the business wants to maximize profit. So we said that at the point where the business wants to maximize profit, we, we establish fundamentally that the marginal cost should be equal to what? Our marginal revenue. That is, we want to know the number of outputs that we can produce and sell in order to what? Maximize profit. So, and at that point, we said that for you to maximize profit, for, for the business to maximize profit, our marginal cost should be equal to our marginal revenue. That is at the point where we achieve optimum level of what? production. It is at this point where we achieve optimum level of production. So, in a case where the business wants to achieve optimum level of production, simply, it should be the equation of what? Marginal cost matched to our marginal what? revenue. And it's at this same point where the business will maximize their profit. We are talking about the level of output that the business can produce in order to maximize what? profit. So that's what we call uh, the level of what? The optimum level of production. It is at the point where the business wants to maximize what? Profit. So that's also what we also established fundamentally in that video. So it's important for you to go to this video before you proceed to this. Because what, what we did or what we learned in that video, we are going to reverse it. And that's where integration with this application comes in. So generally, what, what we learned under uh, differentiation with business application, we are going to reverse everything. And then we come back to what we call integration. Okay, so that is what we actually learned under those words, studies or under those words, under those concepts when it comes to what? Differentiation. So in today, we are going to learn how to actually integrate marginal cost, marginal revenue, so that we get our total cost and our total revenue. And we also want to know the level at which we can produce in order to what, maximize our profit. That is the optimum level of what? Production. Okay? And we have also established fundamentally, or we also established fundamentally that at the production level of zero, three things happen. Our variable cost equal to zero. Our total cost equal to our first cost. And our total revenue is equal to zero. Because if we don't produce, we don't make any sales. So that is what we established fundamentally in our differentiation class. So that is all about integration because you have already learned about the principle when it comes to integration. So here is going to be more of a question on business application where we applied the knowledge of what integration to deal with those business applications. So in a question you might see, they, probably the examiner might give you say a marginal cost function, say a marginal revenue function and it will ask you to find say total revenue function, total cost function, at what level is the business maximizing their profit and those kind of issues you should be able to actually come out with something better for you to earn a good mark so that is what it comes in when it comes to uh, this business application right so in other words for me to get my total cost function but all that i will do is to integrate this function all right so i'll integrate this function I'll integrate. So in the integration, that's where it takes me back to my total cost function and my total revenue function. So that is what we established fundamentally when it comes to the theory of production, where we have issue about cost, revenue, and marginal. Marginal means that there is a change in the level of what output or a sale. So by marginal it means what we are trying to find a change. That exists between two kind of things, or a change between what cost, a change between revenue, or other related issue. So that's what we call marginal. All right. So that is that. So let's take a question under business application where we can apply the knowledge and the integration and then reintegrate. Okay.